G'day Ziggy D here. The head start for Arcage just went live uh, a couple hours ago and uh, I wanted to make you a bit of an update for you guys on the pay to win situation in Arcage. You guys probably saw my previous video detailing uh, the game's shift from alpha into late beta and uh, its shift towards pay to win and I, I shared some uh, concerns about the game and some criticisms. Well I wanted to make this update video because just like I wanted to let you guys know when things were changing for the negative, I also want to let you guys know when things are changing for the positive. Ah uh, yes! So. Uh, they kind of left it to the last moment, <laughs> but uh, about 18 hours before the head start began, so before the kind of the pre-launch or the launch, uh, they released some patch notes with some significant fixes to a lot of the stuff I, I complained about. Well, pretty much to everything, really. So the first thing was, uh, this was announced slightly before the 18 hour mark, uh, they were taking labor potions back to the 12 hour mark. So this is ex this is exactly what they were in alpha. So basically moving that exactly back to what it was in alpha. Now labor potions have never been something I've been like super comfortable with. I still think it's an, like a, the idea of buying in-game advantages uh, is pretty significant and has a negative impact on the game in my opinion, but I was reasonably okay with the way the alpha played out and these labor potions were in alpha and I didn't really feel like it was that big a deal. Then the then again the uh, labor regen was a bit higher in alpha so it was a little bit less no noticeable but overall I think it is a big improvement changing the labor potions from something you can uh, drink on four separate characters every four hours to drinking on four separate characters every 12 hours is much more reasonable at least I think so that's going to mitigate some of the negative impacts of the labor potions. So that's a significant improvement there and basically as I said going back to uh, close to what it was in the alpha. So that's good news. Now I'll switch over here and I'll show you guys the patch notes for the other changes because these ones are pretty awesome. So if you guys saw the uh, previous video you'll know that my secondary gripe was with the changes to Archeum. Now Archeum is a crafting material, it's used in all crafting and basically towards the end of the beta uh, the ability to get Archeum in game had been throttled down to almost nothing so it was very very difficult to actually get any Archeum in the game. You weren't able to get it from salvaging and it dropped from only from queen purses at a very 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 heavily reduced rate. Now, there's the second part of that was that it was being sold through, well, not directly sold, but there were these Archeum lockboxes, these Archeum chests available on the cash shop, which had a chance of dropping Archeum. Now, the drop chance on those was sometimes you would open a box and you wouldn't get any Archeum from them, but compared to the amount of uh, availability in the actual game through actual farming, uh, it was kind of like a way that I saw, I foresaw a lot of people uh, getting the, bar, the vast majority of Archeum in the game would come from the cash shop essentially. So here's the uh, here's the notable changes for this. The drop rate of loot bags from monsters has been significantly increased. You'll remember I said that uh, one of the the only real mean of getting means of getting Archeum in the game was from these loot bags. So this has been increased. There's more loot bags firstly. Second is the drop rate of sunlight, moonlight and starlight Archeum from loot bags has been greatly increased. Now again, this is not like numerical values they're not giving us here, and they that's not unusual. Generally, game uh, games developers don't give numerical values for this, and Tryon doesn't actually seem to know what's going on with a lot of the XL patches anyway. But uh, <laughs> that aside, uh, greatly increased, if it is indeed greatly increased, and it's actually a viable method of farming them, or at least farming a good chunk of them, then that's really good news. And then the third thing here is the chance of equipment from loot bags has been increased, and then these items can be salvaged to game Archeum. So not only can you get Archeum from those loot bags, which are dropping at an increased rate, and Archeum drops from the loot bags at an increased rate, in addition to that, uh, the, uh, you're getting equipment from the loot bags as well. So sometimes when you're not getting Archeum, Archeum or in addition to it, you're getting loot, uh, you're getting equipment that you can then salvage to get Archeum. So all of these things combined, lead me to believe that the change has shifted back into it's viable to farm Archeum in the game. Pretty much back to what it was in Alpha, good stuff. It's like a different sort of patch and there's a different uh, it's like situation there, like there were different ways of getting it in Alpha as well, but this is a big shift back to 
you can actually viably farm for this stuff in game. It's not mandatory for most of it to be purchased from the cash shop. So again, good changes, good stuff. Now another change I've heard mentioned briefly uh, that hasn't, I don't think has been confirmed yet, is that uh, Tryon was talking with XL Games to get the drop rate of Archeum from the Archeum chests, from the cash shop, uh, to be much lower. They wanted it to be an occasional bonus and not something that you could rely on. So if that also happens, so if that does go through as well, then that's again another great change. Again, shifting from the cash shop into the actual game. Really good stuff, so I'm very happy to bring this news to you guys. I think Arc Age is a game that does have a lot of potential. It's uh, kind of... Uh, one of a kind at the moment. There's not really many games like this. There's some coming in the future, like Black Desert Online, for example, that are going to do similar things, but this idea of a hybrid theme park sandbox MMO with some of these features that Arcage offers is not something you can get in other MMOs. So I do think it has potential, and I'm very, very happy to see uh, Tryon, you know, kind of listen to feedback. It wasn't just me doing this feedback video. There was a lot of feedback on the forums, on uh, Reddit, and from a lot of other content creators as well. Like I know, for example, Pox voiced his concerns with it as well. And this sort of stuff filters down. So I'm really glad to see, try and listen to this and take action on it as well. Left it to a little bit late, 18 hours before, but uh, still very good news. So with all this in mind, my overall thoughts are that personally, I still think it's a bit negative that you can get any sort of in-game advantages uh, from the cash store, that you can potentially get Archeum, and that you can still pretty significantly boost your labor per day from the cash store. Now, a lot of people have said that this isn't pay to win because you can get this with gold, but in a heavily time-gated game, I do think that a significant advantage is available to reducing the amount of time it takes to get things, especially when that sort of thing can allow you to, you know, max out a mastery much more quickly than a non-paying person, and then uh, be able to, you know, sell things or create things that other people can't and be able to dominate that economy. I still think it's a little bit negative overall, the monetization system they've gone for. I would have really liked to have seen the subscription the, the subscription, the optional subscription for land ownership. I kind of don't mind the uh, Apex system. I think it's a pretty cool and interesting system. And I don't even mind so much the auction house system as well, that you have to pay a little bit to be able to use the auction house. And then in addition to that, having a cash shop with a lot of cosmetics, I think would have been a great way to do this game. And I think it would have had pretty long-term viability with that. But uh, this is the route they've gone. It's not great but it's uh, a hell of a lot better than what it was looking at end of beta. So I think the thing I really want to really do for you guys is to encourage you to look into all of these things, to make your own sort of decision, uh, try out the game for free maybe when it launches in a couple of days, and make your own decisions about whether these things impact your enjoyment of the game and whether you want to support something like that. I want to leave this up to you guys as much as possible. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update and hopefully you are as happy as I am about some of these changes. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching.